I want to talk about the four benefits of faith. Nataka nizungumzie faida nne za imani. Four benefits of faith. Faida nne za imani. I spoke about this on Wednesday. Nilizungumza siku ya Jumatano hapa. And I speak to you. Write it down. Andika chini. The four powerful benefits of faith. Faida nne za imani. Four powerful benefits of faith. Faida nne za nguvu za imani. Number 1. La kwanza. It is the channel through which we pray. Imani inatusaidia kuomba. Without faith, bila imani, prayer becomes speech. Maombi yanakuwa ni mazungumzo tu. When you pray without faith, ukiomba bila imani, you are actually talking. Unazungumza tu. And when you talk by faith, na ukiongea kwa imani, you are actually praying. Unaomba. In James chapter 1 and verse 6. Kitabu cha Yakobo moja sita. And verse 7. The Bible says, Anyone that prays, let him pray by faith. Or through faith. For a man that prays without faith, it's like a wave in the sea that is being tossed here and there. So I encourage you to acquire faith for it will, it will actually enable your prayer life to become effective. You can never reach a point and say, I, I don't feel like I can pray. Because faith will pray. And every time prayer comes by faith, it, it always delivers. It will always deliver. I know every one of you in one time or another you have prayed even today from morning you have been praying now what will guarantee the receiving of what you pray it is faith because faith is to be sure so faith benefit number one it will help your prayer life to become effective number two faith will help you while you are living it will support your life. Because the Bible says in Romans chapter 1 and verse 17 that they just shall live by faith. If you are a believer. You are a just person. Understand this. Your existence. Is courtesy of your faith. If you don't have faith. You may exceed before your time. It contributes greatly. To the sustainability of your lifespan. How long a believer can live is determined by, by the purpose and the faith available. You may know the purpose but your lifespan can be cut short because you don't have faith. If you want you to, you, that you live your entire lifespan let faith be your friend. Every time seek for faith. See that you improve on your faith. See that you increase on your faith. That faith will help you a lot. Faith will help you a lot. So you benefit by living longer by faith the just shall live by faith benefit number three it helps you to please God Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 
without faith it is impossible to please God it is impossible to please God whenever God is pleased he speaks something good about your life. He shows great signs from above. I want God to be pleased with you. I want God to be pleased with you. Whenever God is pleased, he, he never goes silent. Whenever God has been pleased with a person, he never goes silent. When he was pleased with Jesus, he said, this is my beloved son with whom I'm well pleased. Listen to him. Faith will make you please God. You may have other graces. You may be a giver. No matter how much you give, in the absence of faith, God is not yet pleased. You may be holy and your holiness can enable you to see God. But no matter how holy you are, you can never please God without faith. Because God loves people who know that he can do. God loves people who know that he can do even before they see any sign. That's why God is pleased by faith. So faith will help you to bless God. And then God will speak something good about your life. How many of you want God to speak about you? Acquire and grow in faith. Let me tell you something. God is never silent to people that have faith. Never. Even before you ask him of anything, your faith will make him begin speaking. Jesus did not ask God for anything. He did not tell him, my father, answer me. He was busy praying. Then Moses and Elijah appeared. And Peter was the one speaking. And Jesus was silent. But his faith was active. Then it pleased God. Then God said, This one, I am looking for a time when God will look at you and say, This one is my beloved son in Kissy Town. This one is my beloved daughter in Keubu. This one. Is my beloved daughter. Let every villager listen to him. If you are blessed, shout yes. God is about to speak something about you. He's only waiting for your faith to grow. Hallelujah. 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 Keep growing your faith. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So faith helps you to please God. Number four, faith is your protection. It is your divine protection. It is your heavenly protection. Listen, the Bible in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 16 it is talking about several things from verse 13. But when the Bible gets to verse number 16 it says above all these other things put on faith as a shield with which with which you shall extinguish the burning arrows of the enemy. So faith is your protection. As you walk on earth, understand this. Faith will help you to pray. Faith will sustain your life. And that faith will help you to please God. And that faith will help you 
against the enemy. Now listen to this. When the witches and the wizards will be coming against you, your anointing may not help you. It is your faith. Every arrow of the enemy can only be stopped by faith. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every arrow of the enemy cannot be stopped by your giving. You simply give your offering because you are a man and a woman of faith. There are people who don't give because they have no faith connection. Now, this faith is what is going to help you when the devil wants to attack you and to stop your life from going on you can only stop him by faith faith is your protection the Bible says put on faith as a shield with which you shall extinguish the burning arrows of the enemy. When the devil comes against you with poverty to destroy your blessing, faith will stand for you. Faith will say, This property is protected by the kingdom of faith. When it when the devil comes with a disease and maybe with malaria or with any other disease faith stands there externally it will say you can affect other people but this is a protected area hallelujah hallelujah when witches and wizards are discussing on how to annihilate your life, faith will be there for you. Because faith is your defense. Is your invisible advocate. He speaks on your behalf even when you are not aware. Put on faith as a shield. And when the burning arrows of the enemy are thrown to you, they cannot arrive at where you are because faith will stop them at a distance. If you are blessed, clap for Jesus and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put faith as a shield. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the powerful advantages of faith. When the Lord gave me the revelation of protection, then I knew that I have not really observed the laws of science and hygiene. I have just observed the law of faith. Praise God. Because faith has the capacity to, to defend you in your ignorance when you are unconscious of this fact. Faith protects you. Those are the four parables of faith. What is my recommendation as your pastor? Don't look for anything. Look for faith. Faith will save a lot of your resources. It will save your blessing. It will save a lot of your a lot of things. That's why every time we teach about faith, the devil encourages you to sleep. Because if you now wake up, because if you wake up and you get this faith, the devil becomes irrelevant. But as long as you don't have the faith, the devil is still an issue in your life. It is only faith. Only faith. Only faith that has the capacity to stop the devil. Look for faith. As you are walking around, don't look for prayer. Don't look for anointing. Don't look for prophecy. Don't look for those other things. If you get faith, 
Ukipata imani, I can assure you, you have actually got all things. Because it is your faith that I can attract your answer. If your answer is in a prophecy, faith will bring the prophecy to you. If your answer is in apostle, your faith will bring the apostle. If you have your faith wants Jesus to be around, Jesus will come. Every time Jesus healed people, he told them, my daughter, your faith has made you well. He said, I have gone through Israel. I have never found faith like the one in this man. May your faith be unique and may it be identified by Jesus. If you are blessed, stand up and shout hallelujah. strongly that many of you are going to own mansions by faith. Many of you are going to drive by faith. Many of your children are going to succeed by faith. I am sure every project that was stopped is going to begin by faith. After today's service, I am sure you are going to defeat all witches and wizards combined. Hallelujah. I am sure as a prophet that after today's service, someone is going to begin business. Every impossibility will turn possible. Hallelujah. Are you blessed to be here today? Let your life be protected. Whatever accident they had placed before you, we now scatter it by faith in Jesus' name. Praise God. Any spirit of death that might have penetrated your life, we scatter it by faith in Jesus' name. I pray that your faith may be strong. When Jesus saw Peter was going to die, it, he prayed for him. He did not pray for him to have anointing. He prayed for him that his faith may not fail. Now, even you, I pray for you that no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, may your faith never fail in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I pray for these people that from this hour, they will be counting success after success. Because faith never fails anybody unless even faith fails by itself. I pray for their faith. For all they need is faith. And things will work for them. My father, I know who you are. And I know when you sent me. I know your power. I know your ability. I know your capacity. Thank you, King of the Universe. Bless your children. And bless this church. Let us keep moving by faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.